got any any hit drops for any future guests, or are we keeping it uh, with the DL? I might have one of the best players in New York. Oh, on, that's a strong region. Too. That is an incredibly strong region. But that is more We're back into the game. The Z is a bit. Okay, and it looks like we are getting right into the mix right here. Here we go. And it's going to be Team Rule versus Jake from State Farm. And is that an, an early kill? Yeah, and, and that's really costly right here, especially because one of the underrated things about this K Rule squad is that while they struggle against these kind of faster characters, they live so long. Oh, definitely. And, you know, we're not looking at any heavy characters. We don't have an Ike. We don't have anyone who can kind of cheat those stocks out below 100%. These K Rules might be living up to like 150. Yeah, I, that was, I feel like that was an early kill. Almost. Yeah, that was really nice from uh, Jordy right there. Managing to kind of weave in right there and get it happen. Is that Joey and Grant BNB in the chat? Great to see you, my man. And absolute team rule is represented by Ted Cruz. Yes, BNB, that is uh, that is Joey and Graham versus a one, Dickie Dickie and Jordan Bondira. Exactly. Name drop. I meant Na Jordy Bear. Jordy Bear, boys. It's Jake and State Farm. That's their names. <laughs> Jake and State Farm. That was a great hold on that F smash on the right side. Of that the was stick. Oh, Jordy Bear, the same kill in the same spot. I really like him. He's, he's chasing out these predictable recoveries. He's oh, really yeah. punishing them for it. He's, I mean, he's got he to do. He's got Turkey Club on the ropes. He knows what he wants to do. Yeah, I mean, and that's honestly the biggest part. Right? That oh. is that has been such a consistent kill for them that I did not know even existed. J squared on commentary, going strong. That's <laughs> Absolutely right. Absolutely, BMB. All right, and we through a lot of damage. And just like that, Turkey Club and Jory are both on their last stock right here. Naglefar refuses to die, though. Yeah, he was he is an exceptional player. You know, um, last last Friday, wait, no, Tuesday, he took, he took a set off of Sunday. Really? Oh, yeah. Getting strong out here in the reach. And I like what they're doing here. They're uh, letting the ex dis the dis you know, di disposable character go up front, the, the inkling, because, you know, Naglefar is going to bring this back with or without his teammate. And the other beautiful thing about this setup right here is that you're, you're able to have the inkling go so deep to secure these kills because that recovery will get you back from almost anywhere. Unless your teammate decides to end you in a quick one. Look, Naglefar doesn't die. He just lets his teammate take a stop. That's right. The true stock tank. Did he kill him again? Nope. No, not not take quick. Oh, I like that option. He breaker. thought he was gonna shield when he got up. Yeah, I mean that kind of puts him in a no win. That situation. was that's the kill. That was the kill right there. But Rumble able to avoid the it. The teamwork but between Shorty Pair and Naglefar is really popping off right here. They have edge guards on point. Yeah, and I I really really like that. What they're doing is they're sending them, you're sending them all the way down, and because Inkling has basically no fear there. That's true. And, and the other thing is. K Rule has a fantastic recovery, but the problem is it only has a hitbox from the very top. So from below, you're very vulnerable. Right, so you're dealing with the Inkling who's trying to get below you, or the bigger thing, Inkling trying to get to the side. Yep, that's back, back air. Airs. Yes, back air for days. I, I think that really helped decide the, so uh, the, the entire match. Absolutely. Getting I mean, early kills it, with back air. Oh, you, you know it. And this is going to be the finals here. <laughs> I like that mechanical keyboard that goes click click click. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey you know, sometimes you just gotta enjoy the small things in life. I'm not gonna make the joke. Anyways, the switch <laughs> to Ganondorf. <laughs> really proving to be powerful. Oh! Bondi! Flexing on Flexing on him. Look at him smile. Look at him bopping. Look at him. You can see the movement down. And look, even if you're somehow not enthused by this doubles game, you can watch the uh, Astralis game in the background on the TV. So you've got that going for you too. Yeah, option select. Copyright stricken. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't copyright strike <laughs> me. <laughs> he took it off. Why is it? Jordan? Oh, and the pineapple from Jordy. And right after getting that early stock. Oh, and I, the up tilt from Ganondorf, a move that honestly, if I could have removed from the character, I would take away. He would be a, a much better character. Heartbeat. Oh, Ganondorf coming through. Why isn't Jordy on the Wario? Because his Wario is somehow freer than his Inkling. 
I think the big thing is, as a as a like a relatively Double strong team. melee player, he finds the movement of Inkling much more familiar to him, and right. I think that's, that's one of the uh, the big facts. And I this, don't this think Rum knows to air dodge. The door. It doesn't matter. You only need. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Now, fortunately for Jordy Bear, he's been playing against a Ganon Warlock for like two hours, so he's got this matchup on lock. Did he just Warlock kick into the Oblivion? That does not reset your jump, unfortunately, in this game. <laughs> Would not get you back. And now it, it is. It looks like they're just jumping off the stage. I, I, and I really don't think this, this Ganondorf switch is what we needed here. I, I think it was absolutely correct. Stop up tilting. And he's oh, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> challenge <laughs> right there. All right, and here we are. Going to seal it 